This is how you trade a breaking news in the stock market. Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. This is Jay from Jaw Trades and in this video, I will be breaking down a trade I took recently and I made 75% of my investment in a matter of 2 minutes. I was able to make 3500 US dollars in a matter of 2 minutes on Friday 15th of October 2021 just because I was able to capitalize on a news released during the market open hours on that day. I'm going to show you guys start to end on how I executed on this day so that next Next time such kind of news presents itself and I'm sure it will, you guys will be well equipped to make the best use of that opportunity presented to you. On this day, this was a Friday, the news was released after the first 3 hours of market open. If you guys have seen my previous recaps, you can go through my channel, I usually get done within the first 1-2 to two hours of market open. But because this was a Friday, 15th of October, on Friday usually I just open a movie or a TV show that I'm watching on Netflix and I was just watching the market, I was enjoying my weekend. But all of a sudden, MRNA started selling off. I looked at my Benzinga Pro platform, that is a platform I use for instant news when I'm trading the stock market. There was a news on Moderna that FDA, the Food and Drug Administration of the US, delays Moderna COVID-19 vaccine for adolescents to review rare disease side effect. And because of this news, the stock started selling off all of a sudden. Here's the platform that I use to get instant news. It's called Benzinga Pro. It's a paid subscription. I pay around $1,000 a year. But I think this platform is well worth it because even if I catch one move like this, in the whole year, I think it pays for itself. To be honest, I'm guilty of paying for a lot of subscriptions that help me with my trading. I pay for Dash Trader Pro, Bookmap, then I pay for Benzinga Pro, I pay for TradingView application, I have a few different charting softwares, I have a few different news platforms, I pay for the Apple news platform on my phone. So if you add all these things up, it's quite a few thousand dollars per year. But at the end of the day, all these platforms help me with my trading and help me take it to the next level. You guys can see the news is right here at 3.27 a.m. Same news, it's my time, but if you convert this to EST, it's around 12.27 p.m. EST. Let's now take a look at the stock chart of Moderna and how I executed this trade. Unfortunately, I don't have a recording of this trade because as I mentioned, I was done with my trading. I usually only record my screen until I'm trading, that is for the first one to two hours of market open. This is a one minute chart of Moderna and you guys can see in the morning, it was not having any clean direction. It was just chopping around in a range for majority of the morning, but the news was released around 3.26, that is my time, but 12.26 to 12.27 p.m. market open time. You guys can see at 12.26, it had a drop that was a huge sell-off and with increase in volume. So this volume was very, very high all of a sudden. That grabbed my attention and I started looking at my platform for news. I was able to look at the news. I was like, okay, this is bearish news. Now, if you guys want to know how to actually trade the news, as per my experience, this first move down is always taken up by the algorithms. There are algorithms, there are machines working, those who are scanning these news on Twitter and on the social media everywhere. Whenever a stock news is released, it's practically impossible for retail traders to catch the first move towards the downside or towards the upside if it has a good news catalyst. In my three years of experience, I have never caught the first move towards the downside or towards the upside. So our job as retail traders is to wait for a pullback because if the news is good enough, maybe towards the downside or towards the upside, it will most likely give you a next post down or up depending on the news. Let's now look at the price action and wait for an entry on the pullback. Then I will show you guys my entries and exits. This was a really good bear flag. If you guys don't know what bear flag is, I will post a screenshot right here. What that means is that you have a bearish move towards the downside. This is called the pull followed by a flag pattern. So it makes a flag. Ideally on the flag pattern, when you look at these flag, these two green candles, you want low volume. So this was a really good example of a bear flag and a news catalyst. A post down on increase in volume, you guys can see the volume was very high. On the pullback, on the flag pattern, the volume is very, very low. On these green candles, the volume is low compared to the red candles. And that's what we want on a bear flag. Now as retail traders, what we need to do is that we need to think on our feeds and then we need to look for an entry and an exit point because you always need to have a stop loss. I will show you guys my entries and exits on this trade. I will post a screenshot right here. But on the chart, I will show you guys my entry was right here on this candle when it made a new one minute low right here. The low of this candle was just above 328. So on this candle, when MRNA broke 328 towards the downside, it made a new one minute low. That was my entry point. 
my stop loss was the make of new one minute high. So my stop loss was around $330. I was giving it $2 to go against me, but I was able to capitalize on this huge push towards the downside. I covered my contracts all here. I took my partials, overall making $3,500 US dollars on this trade. Before I show you guys a screenshot of my entries and exits, make sure that you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so that you guys get notified every time I release a new video. I'm releasing two to three new videos on day trading every single week. Here are my entries and exits on a screenshot. I entered 20 contracts at a premium price of 2.30. So overall, I paid around $4,600 for this trade. I entered at the break of 328 towards the downside. In the next two, three minutes, I covered my whole position right here with a profit of 3,500 US dollars. That was 75% return. And yes, this was a risky play because I was trading zero day to expiry contracts. Those contracts were expiring the same day, in fact, in the next few hours. So if you are trading those contracts, those contracts can be very, very volatile. But I was liking the setup a lot. I was green for the week and I was even green for the day. So I was willing to risk a bit of my profits on this trade because this was looking really good to me. That's it, guys. Hopefully this video helps you to capitalize on the next post towards the downside or towards the upside because of a news catalyst that is released during the market hours. The first thing to note here is never chase it. You will most likely miss the first post down or the first post towards the upside. The second key takeaway is to wait for a pullback, then wait for your entry and have a well-defined stop loss because sometimes what happens, you see an overreaction to the news and then you see a V-reversal. So you guys don't want to be a part of that. Every trade you take should have a risk setup, should have a stop loss there. If you guys don't have a stop loss, you're not trading, you are gambling. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and post a comment down below. If you have any video suggestions for this channel, I will make sure to post a video on your suggestions. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure that you follow me there because I post a lot of good day trading content on my Instagram, including my green days, my red days, my PNL and all the good stuff. You don't want to miss them. The link will be in the description box below. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.